They're like, oh crap, what am I doing? How was I on the... No, it's whether they're dead or a or, uh, thing. I was waiting for him to back off before I could go in, that's why. Ah. Sorry, say again, what, what medic do you want me to be? Mr. Goriath. Um, if you're going to be sunny, then I'll, I'll be out. Yeah, you can eat the body, but that's not going to happen in a group I that has... I dance between all of them to get good at them. <clears throat> But yeah, you can yeah you can eat the body and that prevents the res. Um, but I don't think he was able to be able to do that in any of those positions because all the rest of the hunters were too close, especially with those bucket turrets. Yeah. What Zernberg says, it takes about 45 seconds for a body to decay. So technically, you have almost a full minute um, if the hunter's not taking any damage to res him without a strike. And that's including when he's downed. So you're saying I shouldn't have uh, been near the mob when uh... No worries, Zernberg. Oh, shit. What, what monster are we fighting? Goliath. Okay. Hey, I'm helpful for once. It's not me asking that. I think that's like the number one thing. Like, what are we fighting? Oh, crap. Yeah, see, I wish I saw perks, and I wish I saw um, his first skill tree. Ooh, say so he climbs up. I like climbing up here because usually not only can you get... Uh, I feel like his leaps could do a little bit better. Um, not sure why he suddenly stopped. Can you give me new, uh, uh, dialogue? Yeah, there's new dialogue, yeah. There's a of funny ones. Yeah. What about the time you wrestled the T-Rex? That was a cartoon. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so I didn't get some meat. Um... The reason why I liked him jumping up on that that line. Oh, so the spotter heard him. Let's see if they they probably didn't hear it. Um, I like that he's. I'm not sure if he's doing it intentionally, but I like um, glass to try and jump into bushes because it hides footprints very very well. So jumping from bush to bush is actually pretty decent. And this is going to bring carrion birds. One of these guys. Yep. There you go. <clears throat> Num num nums. So I'm not a big fan of their split. They're all really grouped up. I feel like two should have been that way and then two should go this way. So these two guys go here, these two guys go there. So you kind of flush out this whole entire middle area, then you fan out. Yeah, so these guys just get a free clear away. So he's almost ready to evolve, which is really good. So you should probably kill this guy. 
I can never pounce those guys. They always like seem to miss for some reason. Yep, so he should he should be able to get a free evolve here. Ooh. Take a nuke to the face. So I think he's gonna evolve right here, maybe. Yeah. There we go. So I believe the trapper's gonna spot him really quickly. I don't like putting those things on the ground, because hostile wildlife is just going to eat them. Ooh, that sloth. Wow. Excuse me. Uh, the Blitz Leopards I always have problems. Or no, yeah, the Blitz Leopards I have problems with. Um, that being the case, uh, Zernberg for carrion birds. Um, so how it works is that the more, like, so for instance, if you have four meat, whether you eat a one meat or a three meat, it'll have the same percentages. Um, however, you roll a dice every time. So if you eat one three meat, you roll the dice once for carrion birds. If you uh, eat three one meats, you roll it three times. So generally speaking, if you eat like three or four critters, there's a good chance they're going to pop up just because that seems to how it seems to work most of the time. And I completely missed that dome. Oh, those trap jaws. I need to test something. I feel like when you're stage two, the trap jaws will still attack you, but they don't knock you off food. I have to test it out. Um, but it seemed like it's happened a few times to me. Ooh. Good pounce, good pounce. Oh, that was... Oh, that creature saved his life. <laughs> that Reaver MVP. But he scared off the assault, that's good. MVP Reaver there. I feel like his leaps are a little too vertical. I think he needs to aim more this way instead of up here. Because um, it looks like that his distance doesn't seem to be as great. He seems to be getting uh, more altitude than long, long, longitude? No, latitude. Distance. He's not getting very much distance with them. Really good. I like this pincer and I like how they're cutting him off. Very good. So if I was the trapper, I would head right here and just sit up here. Yeah, so this is a good spot. But, however, this is a no-fly zone. So I feel like, even though he's got very little armor, this they're, they're just going to get eaten here. Ooh, that rock. That rock, nice spot. Yep, see, and this is what I've talked about. Line of sight issue. Yep, this guy should die. Oh, I feel like he could have charged him back down here and kept him out of line of sight. Oh, this this area is so scary. Okay, so the trapper's going to go down. Okay, and then if I were him, I'd just leave. Ooh. Punish him, punish him, punish him. Yeah, if he wants to stick around, that's fine. I would have just taken the, the strike and then leave. There's no reason to go for a kill. I, I'm i not sure why he's sticking around. Like, Yeah, you're not going to out-heal. Yeah. You might be able to get a kill on Zalzan before you leave. Charge. Where's your charge? Oh, almost. Very, very close. Oh, sunny. So... Wow, that was that was rough for the monster. I feel like if he just hit the trapper and left, he would that would have been way different. Um, now he has to be careful. Like a mammoth bird might kill him. Let's see if what happens with this guy. Oh, oh, so close, <laughs> so close. Okay, so this is a good meet. Um, so he's really, really low health, so he needs to be um, really careful about an engage. Um, he's got one strike on the trapper. Um, so what? the best thing for him... Oh, there goes that dome. Oh, good dome. So this should be the end of him. Now, if I was him, um, I would just turn around and go kill Griffin as fast as possible before Sunny has time to set up. Um, although Zalzan's really, really, really low health too. Yeah. I feel like that at this point, he should be able to see these guys health bars and see that there's weakness sniff that weakness because Zalzan is extremely weak right now yeah 
There we go. Perfect. Really, really good. Yep. Get out of there. Try and get some... Oh, that assault. Doing such good pressure. Really good job. Really good. Ooh, that's rough. Really hard spot. A stupid stink louse. Oh, this might be the end. Oh, that was really close. Really good job from Torino, though. He, he almost had it. Good job. Dude, that was like between two bushes and a fly's ass. That was good. I feel like you overcommitted in that one fight, Torino. I think that once you downed the trapper, you probably could have left. Um, yeah. But yeah, that, that that area, I hate fighting that area. Like, once I saw the trapper get knocked down and broke line of sight from Zalzan, I'm like, oh, he's so dead. Oh, yeah. I, I did pretty good charging them and keeping them separated. Down yep. Here, but still overcommitted. No worries. And it's really hard... Because I was hiding, you camped the body for way too long, and you took like four free, uh, 